I pray thee, good Mercutio. I'm so tired. For the day is hot, and the capitals are abroad. And if we meet, we shall not escape a brawl. For now, in these hot days, is the mad blood stirring. Thou art like a fellow, when he enters the confines of a tavern, clasps me a sword upon the table, and says, God send me no need of thee, and by the operation of the second cup draws him on the drawer, when indeed there is no need. Am I like such a fellow? Come, come. Thou art as hot, Ajax, as in thy mood as any in it, and as soon moved to be moody as moody to be moved. By my head, here come the Capulets. <laughs> By my heel, I care not. Good day, gentlemen. A word with one of you? A word with one of us? Couple it with something, and make it a word and a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that, sir, and you will give me occasion. Could you not take some occasion without giving? Recrucio, thou consortest with Romeo. Consort? What? Dost thou make us minstrels? Zounds consort. We talk here in the public haunt of men, either withdrawing to some private place, or reason coldly of your differences. For here, all eyes gaze on us. Well, peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. Romeo, the love I bear thee can't afford. No better term than this. Thou art a villain. Tybalt, the reason I have to love thee doth much excuse the opportunity and rage is such a greeting. Villain am I none. Therefore, farewell. I see thou knowest me not. Boy, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. Therefore, turn and draw. I do protest. I never injured thee, but love thee better than thou canst devise till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so good calculate, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be satisfied. Oh, come, sorrowful, vile submission. All us to God, it carries it away. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? What wouldst thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives. I am for you. Gentle Mercutio, put thy rapier up. Come, sir, your son. Draw Benvolio, beat down their weapons. Tybalt, Mercutio, the prince expressly hath forbid this banding on Verona's streets. Hold, Tybalt, good Mercutio. I am hurt. A plague on both your houses. I am sped. Is he gone and hath nothing? What? Art thou hurt? Ah, ah, a scratch, a scratch. Merry tis enough. Courage, man. The hurt cannot be much. No, tis not as deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door. But tis enough, twill serve. Ask for me tomorrow, you shall find me a grave man. Why the devil came you between us? I was hurt under your arm. I, I thought all for the best. Help me into some house, Benvolio, or I shall faint. And plague on both your houses. They have made worms me of me. I have it, and soundly too, your houses. This gentleman, the prince's near ally, my very friend, who hath got this mortal hurt in my behalf, my reputation stained by Tybalt's slander. Tybalt, that an hour hath been my cousin, O oh, sweet Juliet. Thy beauty has made me effeminate, and in my temper softened valor's steel. Mercutio, watch out! Romeo, Romeo, Grave Mercutio is dead. This day's black fate on more days doth the pen. This but begins the woe that others must end. Here comes the furious Tybalt back again. Alive in triumph, and Mercutio slain? Mercutio's soul is but a little way above our heads. Same for thine to keep company. Either thou or I, or both, must go with him. Thou wretched boy that didst consort him here, shall with them hence. This shall determine that. Romeo, be gone away. 
citizens are up, Tybalt slain. Stand not amazed. The prince will doom thee death if thou art taken. Hence, be gone, away. Oh, I am fortune's fool. Why dost thou stay? 